Hi, this is Dale from Power Equipment Direct. Hey, today I'd like to talk to you about how to properly mix fuel and oil for your two-cycle equipment as well as when you'll want to use a fuel stabilizer. All right, so to properly mix your gas and fuel for your two-cycle equipment, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a good plastic self-sealing gas can, preferably one gallon. If you don't want to use a metal can, a metal can attracts moisture and moisture will put water in the fuel which is not good for the equipment. You'll also want a good ashless two-cycle oil. All oil has ash in it. Uh, in your car, because you're not burning it, it doesn't matter. But if you're going to be burning oil mixed with fuel, you'll want to have the ash removed. You'll want an ashless oil. If you use an ash oil, you'll get a lot of smoke in the exhaust of your machine. This one's a Briggs & Stratton brand. There's all different kinds of brands out there. Make sure it's ashless. Two-cycle oil is designed to burn. You cannot use like an automotive style oil like this. Or you cannot use your bar and chain oil for your chainsaw. It has to be a two-cycle oil. Different saws have different mix ratios. Some are 50 to 1, some are 40 to 1. What that means is 50 parts of fuel for every one part of oil, or 40 parts of fuel for every one part of oil. 40 to 1 is going to have more oil in it per gallon. You'll have to figure out what the ratio is. Now, I can tell you that for 50 to 1, it's 2.6 ounces of two-cycle oil for every one gallon of fuel. For 40 to 1, it's 3.2 ounces of oil for every one gallon of fuel. If you're going to mix more than one gallon, if you're going to mix two gallons, then you'll just have to double the oil and so forth. You can also buy these bottles already in one gallon and two and a half gallon mixes if you'd prefer. Or you can actually buy larger bottles. And those bottles should be marked with ounce markings on the side, so you'll be able to squeeze out the correct amount. So if you happen to do get a bottle of two-cycle oil that doesn't have any markings on the side, don't assume you're going to use a whole bottle. Measure it out. If you have no way to measure ounces, use a tablespoon. You're going to be slightly over five tablespoons for a 50 to 1 mix. You're going to be about six and a half tablespoons for a 40 to 1 mix. If you're not sure your ratio, many times you can find it right here on the cap or you'll be able to find that information in the owner's manual. You can also click on the link below and it'll take you to our owner's manual lookup tool and you can find it that way. Okay, so if you do use the wrong mixture, 40 to 1 on a 50 to 1 machine, you would probably notice nothing more than a slight bit of smoke in the exhaust. But if you undermix it and you're using a 50 to 1 mix on a 40 to 1 machine, you're giving it a lot less oil than that equipment needs to lubricate. So you have a very good chance of doing internal damage on your equipment. So you'll always want to mix the correct ratio for your equipment. If you're going to mix enough that you're not going to be able to use it all within 30 days, you'll want to use a good fuel stabilizer. Something like a Stable, uh, Briggs has one, uh, there's many brands out there. Refer to the instructions on the back as to how many ounces of stabilizer per gallon of fuel. Again, you're going to have markings on the side, it's going to tell you how many ounces to put in per gallon. If you're unsure about mixing your own fuel and oil, you can buy a premix already. That's oil and gas mixed, you can buy them in the can, they come in quart cans. Uh, the nice thing about that is it's not actually a gasoline, it's a mixture of chemicals that reacts like gasoline. So it's good for a much longer shelf life, four years in the can, two years in the equipment. It also will not gum up your equipment if it sits in it for any period of time. It will not do any damage. So if you're in doubt, that's always a way to go. It's a little more expensive than mixing your own, but it's also a lot safer and a lot cleaner for your machine. I hope this helped you with your fuel mix ratios. If you're not sure what your ratio is, always please make sure you check your manual. If you have any questions, please let us know. If you do know how to mix it and you have an easy way to do it, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much for your time. See you later.